In the shameless carnivore, you spend a weekend in upstate New York butchering a steer mm -hmm. named Ernie. What did you learn about yourself in that experience? I, I learned that I had taken my meat for granted for way too long. Um, and it was very important that I experience um, that process. And I initially, that was not even in the book proposal. It was just an opportunity that came my way. And I very easily could have said, oh, you know, that seems like it might be difficult. Um, and it's, you know, I am under absolutely no obligation to deliver, to deliver that sort of thing to my, you know, to my editor at the end of the day. To butcher a 700 pound steer. Exactly. Um, but I saw it as an opportunity to, to really experience what life on the farm is like and to experience meat from, you know, the very, very beginning from a living kind of dopey animal, you know, who's chewing at my coat and, you know, mooing and, you know, pooping on the farm <laughs> to at the end of a very, very long and difficult, both physically and emotional day to going home with, you know, steaks and chops and, and roasts in a cooler in the car. Um, so it was important for me to experience that because like, I'm a fun and entertaining writer. I use a lot of humor in my writing. It's just kind of the way I am um, and the way that I like to, to write, not the way that I like to tell a story. But I really wanted to not come across as glib because, you know, when you eat meat, like you're experiencing, you know, however indirectly, the death of an animal. Um, and it's very important to take that seriously. Um, you know, not just to, you know, to have reverence for life, um, but also to appreciate that, um, you know, where our meat comes from. And when you do, um, you might not be as nonchalant about your meat consumption and you might take it a little bit more seriously, uh, which is important not just for the animals, but for you as a person. Maybe, you know, I certainly eat less meat now, believe it or not, than I did before. And being on that farm and going through that process was very instrumental in that happening.